Regretfully, 2018 is the third straight record-breaking year for recorded anti-Semitic incidents in Canada. Alarming numbers in an annual report released today in Ottawa by B'nai B'rith Canada's advocacy arm, the League for Human Rights, revealing in 2018 there were 2,041 incidents of anti-Semitism, a 16.5% increase over the previous year. This may be indicating a new normal. Among the recorded incidents, a group of teens shooting lit fireworks at Hasidic Jews in Quebec and a group of Orthodox students in Toronto being assaulted on the streets. Another case over the weekend not included in the 2018 report north of Toronto. Anti-Semitic graffiti was spray-painted on a home in Vaughan. Police investigating this as a hate crime. The Canadian experience is commensurate with the unfortunate global rise in anti-Semitism in Europe and the United States. A tragic example out of the U.S. on Saturday. A shooting at a synagogue near San Diego killing one person and leaving several others hurt. A 19-year-old suspect has been arrested. The attack coming six months after the deadliest attack on Jews in American history at a synagogue in Pittsburgh that killed 11 people. According to the latest numbers from the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. soared 57% in 2017 compared to 2016, the largest single-year increase on record. A vigil held overnight in the wake of Saturday's shooting before today's funeral for Lori Kay, a 60-year-old woman killed in the attack. Now, back here in Canada, today's new report on anti-Semitism points to a specific area of concern, social media, saying that 80% of reported incidents happen on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others. Combined, they lost 10 family members on board the same.